welcome back to my channel my name is Karita K and today y'all is the long awaited video for the results of my NCLEX yes y'all yes finally I know don't y'all beat me up in these comments I know it's been a while um, it's literally been almost a month literally Thursday will be a month since I've taken my exam and I meant to give y'all this video a long time ago, like literally the week that I took my exam, but your girl has been having the worst technical difficulties. Um, as a matter of fact, this is the third time that I have filmed this video and I am praying and hoping that I don't have to do this again because Lord, it's been on the struggle bus over here, okay? So <laughs> yes, y'all, I'm over here trying to get this together. Again, I apologize. I know it's been over a month since I've taken my exam and I left y'all on a cliffhanger. But I am coming to you guys today to let you know if the third time was the charm, if your girl passed this NCLEX, and if I am finally a registered nurse. So, before I get into all the details and everything, I just need to let y'all know, again, I am sorry it's taking forever, but my camera's been messed up, and somehow my hard drive has been messed up and deleted all of my footage, so that's why I'm recording again. But anyway, now that I digress and we can move on, hey y'all, I missed y'all. So guys, um, what is today? Today is the, I believe today is the 22nd of June. No, today is the 21st of June. It's my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, sissy. It is her birthday today and it has literally been almost a month um, since I've taken my exam. I took my exam on May 23rd yes y'all may 23rd and um yeah so where are we gonna begin i guess i'll begin on the day of so guys um if you don't know this is my third attempt well this was my third attempt um taking nclex and the first two times of course i failed and so if you've been following along my journey you've been watching me study and get prepared for this big exam to get my license or whatever right so guys let me just tell y'all a little bit about that day. I swear y'all I'm going to try to make this not that long because I know y'all like, girl, just tell us. I'm about to tell y'all. I'm not going to make y'all wait long. <laughs> so y'all, the day of the exam, I can just honestly say that I was very calm. This is the very first time. Like again, I told y'all I've taken it three times and this was the first time that I felt confident. I didn't feel panicked. I didn't feel like I needed more time to study. Like I just felt ready to take my exam. Like y'all, it was so, it was such a different experience. Like it was insane. So, um, like I never, I didn't have any nerves. I didn't feel scared or anything, but before I continue, I'm going to go ahead and play y'all the before and after my exam. Cause y'all know your girl is going to, we had to record before she went in. And of course I recorded after I came out. So before I get into any details and any results, let's go ahead and watch the before and after. What is up everybody? It is your girl Karita K. And once again, y'all, I am back. <laughs> Where y'all have seen me two other times. I am back here to take my exam, y'all. Um, and I can also say this is a lot different. Let me turn the air down because I know y'all probably can't really hear me. This is a lot different. This feeling is a lot different than the last two times, y'all. When I say I have no nervousness, no, not really any anxiety, no fear, anything. I'm prepared. I am ready. I don't know if you can tell by my eyes, but your girl done had a praise break and then broke down crying. Yes, I did because I love the Lord and the Lord loves me. And um, yeah, y'all, so it's test day. It's exam day. It's NCLEX day, y'all. We're about to go in here and take it. It's 12, 11. My exam is at one. I always get here early. Um, that way I can go use the bathroom and, you know, get in and get everything done. So yeah, guys, we are here. Um, I'm prepared. I feel good. Um, I've, I've said a great prayer this morning and I feel it's already done. I feel good. So yeah, I just wanted to come to y'all before I walked in. We're here. <laughs> we're here. After all the pushing back and studying, we're here. And I feel very, I feel like I got it this time, guys. So um, I'll see y'all after the exam. And uh, yeah, I don't want to keep it too long. But yeah, guys, I'll see y'all later. <sighs> hey, guys. So I am done with my exam. It is now 530. I took every bit of time that I had on that exam. I think I had a total of like eight minutes left when I finished. Um... And I'm just gonna say right now, 
that I honestly think I'll be taking this for a fourth time. I don't know what it is. I don't know how I keep, I don't know y'all. At this point, I'm just like, okay, let me just go and get prepared for the next time because yeah. Um, I have 40 SATA, which I know that doesn't matter. Um, the last, I know question for 144, I went to 145, so that's, I guess, giving me hope, but I don't, again, in my opinion, I felt like I never got to the hard question, so. Yeah, I mean, there was some hard questions, in my opinion, on there, but as far as the hard questions that other nurses wouldn't know, I don't think I ever got to those, so. Um, that's un one of the main reasons why I feel like I didn't pass, but I mean, it is what it is, y'all. I'm just gonna keep moving forward. Um, to be honest, I don't feel sad or anything. I'm just kind of like used to it at this point. So it is what it is. So I'm gonna, um, head home. Um, yeah. And then we'll go from there. Okay, guys. So... <laughs> As y'all can see in the before and the after, uh, when I first went in, I was so confident. Like I said, I'd had no nerves. I was just ready to take my exam. You know, I felt positive. I felt energized. And if y'all remember from the last two times I took the exam, I always had a Celsius, like an energy drink, in my hand drinking it. Um, this time, I didn't have any energy drink. I literally only drank water. I took a water in with me as well. So. As y'all can see, it was a very different experience. Now, if y'all seen that good old after, you can see your girl was like, like what? Like, I just felt like I was just, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. Like, y'all, I was so just done. Like, it felt, I, I felt, you know, like I was, I was getting prepared to take it for a fourth time. Like I was not feeling confident, excuse my nails, they're horrible. But anyway, I didn't feel confident after like, um, what's the word I'm trying to look for? I guess I just didn't, it, it wasn't it, it wasn't it y'all. And as you heard me say, I did a hundred, I had 145 questions and y'all, I took all of those five hours. I literally had eight minutes on the clock. But before I get into all those details, um, if y'all can see, your girl was looking real, real like it is what it is. Um, I didn't feel sad about it. I wasn't like, I guess I wasn't like, like I said, I wasn't sad about it. It was just like, okay, it is what it is. If I got to retake it, I'm ready to retake it. But, um, yeah. So, before I get into all the details of my exam and like how many questions and all of that, I'm going to go ahead and put y'all out of y'all misery and give y'all my results of my third try. So guys, ah, uh, I have to say, if y'all seen the if y'all seen the after after I came out, you know I already said. I, as a matter of fact, just hold on. I'm thirsty. Let me let me get a little water. But anyway, if y'all seen me after that exam, you know, I was just like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't feel it. I didn't feel so confident. So with that being said, on my third attempt of taking NCLEX on May 23rd, 2022 at 1 p.m., yo girl, y'all. Finally passed, y'all. <laughs> y'all, I finally passed. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, applause, applause, applause. You are officially watching Karita RN. Karita K R N. Y'all, it feels so good to say that. Oh my God, y'all. Woo! I'm so glad to get it off my chest. I told y'all I wasn't gonna hold y'all long, but yes, guys. We did pass. We are officially registered. We are officially done with that chapter. No more NCLEX, no more studying, no more stressing. It is finally over. We have passed and succeeded. And I am so excited. 
excited y'all I am so excited like it's been a whirlwind and this is another reason why the video has not gone up because I have been so busy y'all trying to find a job going on interviews doing all of the great stuff I've actually been on vacation for a week so I've been gone and again I've lost footage and all of that good stuff my camera been acting crazy so your girl has just been you know it's just been a, it's been a, it's been a lot. <laughs> but I am very, very happy to say and announce that I have passed my NCLEX. Third time was the charm. We did it, guys. It paid off, and I am so excited. And honestly, it, it was just amazing to have y'all support. I mean, I went in there like I got people that support me, you know, all of this good stuff. So thank y'all because y'all honestly kept me pushing on a lot of stuff like a lot of times i wanted to give up i wanted to be like i don't want to study no more but it was y'all honestly that had me keep coming back because i'm like you know what let me let me you know get with my people on youtube out here in this youtube land and let me just show them like we have struggles we have ups and downs but we can do it and don't let anybody tell you that you cannot do it because guess what? I did it after the third try. It took me three times, but I got it. It don't matter how long it takes, y'all, long as you get it. So I am very proud to say that I am officially a registered nurse, and it feels awesome, guys. So before I get into the breakdown, let me just go ahead and show y'all my reaction. Well, this is the after reaction to me finding out that I passed. So let's go ahead and watch that now. Guys. I passed! <laughs> Third time did it. Look, wait, let me make sure I don't show y'all no card information. <laughs> look, y'all, look. Look, YouTube family, we did it. We did it, Joe. That's the good pop up if y'all want to know. We freaking did it, y'all. And if y'all remember the clip before this, sorry, I'm out of focus. I was literally in the car, like, I don't know, this, this might not be it. Fourth time to try, but y'all, we did it. Third time was the charm. God, it's so good. We did it, y'all. We did it. I am now officially a registered nurse. This feeling is unbelievable. And even though I got the good pop up, y'all, it's like not registering in my head that I passed this and I never have to take it again. Like, this is insane. Wow. Wow. And y'all, I forgot to tell y'all, but my grandma made me write a scripture, Psalms 121, and I had it in my bra the whole time. Because he was with me the whole time during this test. Psalms 121. It was in my bra the whole time, and I'm not gonna lie. I felt discouraged. I felt like I that wasn't it. After 145 questions, three attempts, I'm a, I am finally a registered nurse like this feels amazing as I tell y'all oh my god <laughs> okay y'all I'm, I'm gonna come back to y'all later when I get myself together but <sighs> road to our end we've made it we've made it road to our end is here we have finally made it y'all wow this is a this has been a great journey tiring frustrating sad exciting all of the emotions but we have made it like i'm so excited <sighs> it feels good it feels great <sighs> okay guys i'm, I'm gonna come back to y'all later let me just go and answer all these phone calls and stuff but your girl passed we did it we are officially registered nurse <gasps> Woo! <laughs> okay guys so as y'all can see your girl showed y'all the results and showed y'all the tr you know i did the of course i did the pvt trick where i had to see if i passed or whatever but Y'all, let me just break down how, before I get to anything else, let me break down how I felt in that moment of me getting home. Let me tell y'all about the drive home, okay? I know I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. I'm just so excited. Like, this is such a big moment. But, y'all, when I when I finished that test, as y'all seen, I come, I'm, I'm gonna keep referencing that after video because, honey, she was feeling like we finna go home to study to prepare for fourth try. So y'all, after I did, after I shut the camera off from that, I literally just felt somber. Like I didn't have any feelings. It was like, you know, it is what it is. That's literally what my feelings was. It is what it is, you know. 
either I passed or I didn't. You know, I'm not going to be mad if I didn't because at that point, since it was my third attempt, I was kind of used to not passing. So it felt like, how do I explain this? Not passing was more familiar than if I, you know, passing and seeing, oh, you passed. So guys, when I got home, my husband was at home and he was stressed. Y'all, hubby was stressed out, okay? <laughs> he was laying in here. Now he had got home before me because again, y'all, I had took all of the time and he got off at like 4.30, so he had been home. So he was here, he hadn't turned on anything. He was just laying on the couch. Hope y'all didn't see that spit come out. He was just laying on the couch waiting for me to get home. So when I came through the door, of course he didn't want to immediately be like, so what happened, so what happened? But I came to the door and again, I was calm. So at that point, he didn't know how to read me. He was like, like, what's going on? Because y'all, when I say I was calm, like I was calm. Like there was nothing that could make me upset. So when he came in, when I came in, I told him, I was like, babe, I think I'm going to have to do a fourth try. Like I let him know, I think I'm doing, I think we're going to have to pay again. We're going to be $1,200 out the hole and I'm going to have to try again. So of course, when I said that, he was like, oh my God, like, don't say that, babe. Now, I will say this. I don't know how it is in any other state or any other city, but here in Texas and Houston, um, I got my email from Pearson literally soon before I got home. So on my way home, I had got my email that I could check. And mind y'all, the testing center is literally like 15 minutes from my house. So it didn't take me long to get my email, so I'm able to check. But, um, so when I got home, I had already had the email and I knew that if I did the trick, it would say fail or pass. So I got home and I sat on the couch and I was just talking to him and I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't feel, I don't feel so great about it or whatever. You know, it just didn't, it, I don't think this was it. So at first I was not going to check the results because I was like, I was so confident that I had failed that I was like, there's no need for me to check and do the trick just for me to be sad and be like, oh, well, I failed. So you guys, something in me was like, you know what? It doesn't even matter. I'm, I'm that confident that I failed that it was, it won't matter if I go ahead and check. So what did your girl do? I went ahead and checked. <laughs> so y'all, I'm going through the steps, you know, putting in my information and all that. And I get to where it says submit to where you're going to see the pop up. And literally I was like, babe, it's, I literally told my husband, I was like, babe, it's okay. It's probably going to say the payment declined and you know, it's, it's okay. We're going to keep moving. If this is not, if this is not what God has for me, then there's another chance for it. Like this isn't my time. Basically it's whatever God has for me. It's my time. I'm going to do, you know, when it's my time, it's my time. Water break y'all. So I hit the submit button and of course my husband doesn't know what any of the pop-ups mean even though I've told him he knows what the payment decline pop-up means <laughs> but he doesn't know the other one so y'all is my shirt messed up I don't know but anyway so when the pop-up came up y'all it was just like now if y'all new here and y'all don't know she loves the Lord she loves the Lord, okay? So I'm just gonna have to let y'all know she had a whole praise moment, okay? But um, <laughs> when the pop-up came up and it did not say the payment declined, I didn't even see the whole thing. All I seen was our, O-U-R, -O -U that's all I seen. Y'all, when I literally tell y'all, I was sitting on this couch and I literally had to throw the couch, throw the computer, this one right here, I literally had to throw the laptop to my husband because when I say I hit the floor, Y'all, I hit the floor and I just burst out in tears and I was just like, oh my God, like, oh my God, oh my God. Of course, with this reaction, my husband's like, what? What happened? Like, what is, what does it mean? What's it mean? I'm like, babe, I passed. It means I passed. I am officially a nurse. I have passed the test. And he literally broke down on the floor with me. Like, y'all, when I say I was on my knees on this carpet, your girl was on her knees on this carpet like, Thank you, Jesus. Like, oh my God, it felt so good. It felt, it was honestly, it was a surreal out of body, out of body moment. Like, it was just like, wow. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. That's how much I was just like in shock. Just, I was literally on the floor on my knees, just bawling, bawling. Like someone's just trying to kill me. Okay. <laughs> So I was just on the floor bawling, like thanking God, like, oh my God, I knew it. Because before, I didn't even get to the point where before I took the exam. 
Uh, I didn't even tell y'all about that, but before that morning when I woke up, uh, mind y'all, my test was at one o'clock, so your girl slept in until like 11. So when I woke up, the first thing I did was I came in here on the floor, got on my knees on my couch, and I, I said a good prayer. I said a prayer and I was basically facing the window and I just, you know, said my prayer. I had my conversation with God and the very end of my um, prayer was, if this is, you know, basically after this prayer, I'm not going to worry. I'm not going to stress and it is done. You know, uh, um, I know that it's done and I'm going to leave it alone. So after my prayer, y'all, it was like this. If you're not spiritual or anything, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all probably think I'm a nutcase, but if, but you know, that's fine with me because again, she loves the Lord. So it was like a, um, so after I said my prayer, y'all, it was just like, I could hear or feel God say it's done. And that is honestly, when y'all see my before video where I'm just like calm and collected, that is why, because it was like, he already told me that it was done. Like I didn't have to worry about it. Like this was going to be the day, even though after the test, I was like, girl, I don't know. We might be coming back here for a fourth time or whatever, but it's just like, you know, um, Sorry, y'all, this earring about to kill. It's killing my ear. But it's like, you know, just trusting God. Just believing. Stop worrying. Leave all your stresses with him. He's he, he the man. He got you. He got your back. Okay? So it was just an out of body, out of body, out of body, out of body moment when I found out that I passed. And it was so surreal. And y'all, let me tell you, I don't know. I'm sure it feels like that on the first time, but I guess because it was my third time, it just felt right like it felt like mission accomplished girl like you did it like you you got it done or whatever so yeah y'all that's my reaction to me passing so of course the 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 um uh, the video that i shot of me showing y'all my results was like after i had my praise break after i called literally y'all i faced we have a uh, my family has a family group uh group chat and I FaceTimed them, and y'all, I was bawling on the phone. I was like, ah. I need the ugly girl cry, the Kim Kardashian. Ah, no. So when everybody picked up the phone, all they could see was me just crying and just being like, oh my God, I can't believe it, I can't believe it. So they all thought I failed again. <laughs> they all thought I failed. They was like, what, Karina, did you pass? What happened, you, you failed again? Oh my God, she failed again. And all I could do was muster up, I passed, y'all, I passed. And when I say my family just, burst into tears and cheers it was just insane y'all one thing i can say i thank god that i have the supportive village that i have because my family is amazing i would not be here i would not be this far without my family like they are real ones so shout out to all my family members because without y'all your girl would not be here i thank god that i have a very close-knit family and i'm not just talking about my mama and my siblings I mean, my mama, my aunts, my aunties, my cousins, my siblings, my grandma, uh, third cousins, fourth cousins, like we all, it's a close-knit family, okay? So, so yeah, guys, that was, that was insane. So, I am here. I am a living testimony. I am your proof that you can do it, y'all. It was my third time and your girl did it. Now, I will say this. Some of my lovely, beautiful subscribers, hey, y'all, y'all know who y'all are. Y'all already knew your girl passed because if y'all looked at my Instagram on May 24th, I posted a beautiful post that I passed. So, um, I know, um, who was it that emailed that sent me a message on, on, um, Insta. I think it was her, I think her name is in Scrubs, R-N in Scrubs. Yes, I was talking to Miss R in Scrubs. Hey girl, if that's you on Instagram, hey. <laughs> so we was talking and you know, I was giving her some tips, whatever, and she congratulated me. And there was one other one, I cannot remember who it was. I am so sorry, y'all. I'm gonna go back and try to find it and try to put it right here on the screen somewhere. But yeah, she kept your girl she already knew before y'all because she was following the instagram and she saw it <laughs> so yes oh and nursing hey girl i know you've been getting on me about these videos i'm so sorry but yeah it's my little <laughs> but yeah y'all it's so it it doesn't feel real at this moment like it still feels like did i really pass so now that y'all know that your girl passed and all of that and i think i'm at like 20 minutes so i need to hurry up um let me just get into some details of the exam so 
Um, I did get all 145 questions. And y'all, I was actually happy to get all 145 questions because I don't know, uh, like, I don't know. When I got to 75, I felt like it was going to, excuse me, I felt like it was going to cut off. But when it didn't, I was totally fine with that. And I was like, okay, great. Now I just want to get to 145. So if I didn't stop at 75, I wanted to go to 145, which I did. And I'm so excited that I did um, because your girl passed. <laughs> now, a lot of, um... I had 145 questions and I had 40 SATA questions, y'all. 40 out of 145, 40 of them were SATA. And y'all, them damn SATA questions, I will say they were a little easier this time than they were last time, but they still sucked. <laughs> and I noticed a pattern with my SATA questions like I would get them back to back to back and then when I felt like I got one wrong that's when I got like a regular multiple choice question so I don't know if that's true or not I mean I doubt it I've honestly uh I don't know why I keep messing with this shirt y'all I've honestly threw out the whole stereotypes of the more SATA you get the better you do I don't think it's true um so I don't know don't take my judgment for it I mean you know it is what it is but I don't feel like the more sad you get, the better you're doing. If that makes any sense. But yeah. So those 40 sad, they damn near kicked my butt. Excuse my French. But yeah, out of the 145, um, I used literally all of my time. I give you five hours, five and a half or five hours. I can't remember. But I think it's five hours. But I had only eight minutes, y'all, left on my clock. And when I say I started panicking like around the time where I had two hours left because at the two hour mark, um, when I had two hours left, I had not gotten to like question, I think I was just at like question 80. So let me tell y'all something, I took my time. I took my time, I read through everything thoroughly and I made sure that I read stuff carefully and I didn't just guess an answer. Um, one thing I will say is this book, yes, y'all, I have all my stuff right here. This book right here, y'all, saved my life. This book literally made taking this test a lot more easier than I did previously because, let me see if I can pull it up. There are a question, this here, I don't know if y'all can see it, you probably can't. Um, this page here this this front and back is basically chapters one and two in this book and y'all it um shows you or it teaches you how to answer the questions if you don't know an answer or if you don't know the answer to a question the tips in this book right here oh girl don't knock yourself out the tips in this book will help you and i mean it really without this book i don't think i would have passed so there's that so yeah um it really did help and I was very happy that I had that book but um yeah so as far as the questions on my exam um I had one EKG strip I had no math whatsoever and I was honestly a little sad about that because I'm really good at uh doses calculation so I was hoping for at least a couple of them but I had no math I had no order question no like sequence questions I literally only had multiple choice that one strip in SATA questions that was literally it um mo majority of my questions were priority questions and as far as the subject because it's been a month ago I kind of don't remember but I know I had a lot of basically adult health like med surge well not med surge but like it was adult health like I can't well it was med surge I would say I had a lot of med surge on my exam um and maternity I had a lot of maternity and a lot of med surge which for the maternity I was very happy because I was good with maternity but like the other stuff your girl was like ooh, like I knew it but I wasn't confident in it but it all paid off because she passed <laughs> she passed y'all first again guys stay hydrated <laughs> so yeah um that is one thing I noticed literally every other question was a priority question and i did not get a lot i don't think i got any dele like delegation questions 
Did I? No, I didn't get any delegation questions. A majority of my tests, from what I can remember, were priority. It was like, what, what patient do you see first? What's the first thing you do? What's the most important? You know, those type of things. So, um, yeah, that was pretty much my whole exam. Um, now, something that I noticed that was very weird that I've never heard anyone else talk about or say. And I was like, hmm, I've never heard this before. I've never, you know, ooh, this earrings, child. I've never experienced this before or heard anybody else experience this before uh, i don't know if it was just my test or maybe i was just tripping but y'all i had repeat questions um yes i had literally the exact same question the only difference was they gave me different answer choices um but it was the exact same question and some of them were the exact same question and they weren't the exact same answer choices but they were literally similar it was like they changed the age or they changed the gender or they changed well one part of the disease it was literally the same question so it was very weird and i was like i've never heard of anybody experiencing repeat questions but i had a lot of repeat questions and when i say a lot maybe like 10 maybe 10 of them repeated so to me that's a lot because again i did not expect to see or get any repeat questions so um luckily they were not bad repeat questions they were like the fairly easy ones that was like okay what comes first or you know it was a priority question there are majority of my exam was priority so I'm really trying to think of like other stuff I hate that my other footage got lost because I was very detailed in it but yeah y'all uh I'm looking let me see what the time y'all this video gonna be long sorry I just I like to run my darn mouth <laughs> but yeah um what I was saying um oh y'all it was what was on there it was uh that's not what i was gonna say but yeah that was pretty much all the detail that i had about my exam it was very it was it was a better experience this time because i knew what i was doing um my problem was not the content my problem was answering questions and again that kaplan book was a lifesaver in teaching me and making me understand how to answer NCLEX style questions a lot of people always ask me, do I prefer Archer over you or they always ask, which one would you prefer? I will say this, in my opinion, Archer is the most identical form of practice questions you're going to find to NCLEX. I, I don't know. I can't remember if I said it. I think I did say it in one of my vlogs. I was like, oh, I hope the NCLEX is easier than Archer. No, y'all, they are the, they are identical as far as the vagueness and the type of questions to me you world get does not the you world you world is good for the rationales that's my opinion um as far as the questions the questions are nothing nothing like you world but the rationales on you world are amazing and i would recommend those so um yeah i mean in my opinion i would suggest getting archer plus it's so much cheaper but i would definitely um tell you to get archer i used archer all three times i used you world and archer my first time and to me i got no use out of you world at all um but yeah definitely definitely try archer um it's it's if you want to get something that's close to um NCLEX as possible that will be it like they're literally the the exact same but of course the questions are different but as far as the setup or the format of the questions that's exactly what you're going to get is archer so yeah that's what i suggest archer and um, i know a lot of people always talk about mark k and his lectures now i did go through i went through all of the mark k lectures the very first time i took it and they were helpful but i have not looked back at mark k since the first time i took it which was back in last august so almost a year ago um because they are very outdated a lot of the information is helpful now if you can get a hold of them i would say go through them they are there is some good helpful information but it is very outdated i don't know the year that was recorded but i didn't find it helpful to you so again what i showed y'all was literally all of that i used for my NCLEX to prep for my NCLEX and again if y'all want to see me prep for my NCLEX go back and watch some videos because they they're there um and <laughs> that's what i did to prepare so guys now that i am um i have my notes right here that's why i'm looking down so excuse me so let me see and make sure I went over everything. So yeah, guys, that was my experience with NCLEX. Um, I'm glad it's over. I'm glad I don't ever have to do that again. 
Um, I will say it's not easy. So don't let people who pass on the first try make y'all feel like, you know, you can't do it because you definitely can. And it feels good. Like this is like one of the most rewarding feelings ever. Like if it, it's, it took a lot of work, but we're here and we're past. We've, we've passed and we are now licensed. Like it's crazy to say I am a registered nurse. Like your girl is a registered nurse. Yes, I am. Um, but a, a few other things that I want to tell y'all about um, a little bit after, you know, since I am a registered nurse, I am now on the job market. So um, I actually have an interview Thursday at 945 that I'm very nervous about and excited. Um, hoping that I get the job and it's in the department that I want. Uh, but before that, y'all, I am hired. I do have a job currently. It doesn't start until July 25th, but I do have a job right now. <laughs> it is in, uh, I'm not going to tell you where it is, but um, it's not my first choice. It's in the IMU unit, which is a step down unit from ICU. And that is not at all the department that I'm trying to go to. Um, I would like to be in anywhere in women's services or in the NICU. So NICU, mother, baby, labor, and delivery. And if it's not that, then I would have loved to do the PACU. But I can't do PACU because you have to have a lot of experience for PACU. But um, nonetheless, I can just get my experience and go there. But I am currently on the job market. I do have a job, again, like I said, that starts June, July 25th. And it is for the IMU step down unit. So I'm excited that I have a position, but I am still interviewing for other uh, places. And I am putting applications in for other places and hoping that, you know, I get a call. One thing I can say, um, there is a difference when you apply for, in for jobs when you have your license, because a lot of the places that I've applied to, um, of course there were, some of them are residencies, but majority of the residencies they start in October because I'm already late. It's already June, right? So I'm filling out the residencies for October, but a lot of them, because I already have my license and it's on my resume and everything, they are calling me to start in July for the July cohort, which if you know anything about that, um, usually the July cohort or cohort or starts, they close, like the application for that closes in February. So you have to put in your application in February to apply for those or to get a job for those. But since I already have a license, since I am a licensed nurse and I can literally start working anywhere today, they have been calling me or emailing me and letting me know like, hey, we have positions available. Uh, one, one hospital in particular let me know they have a lot of positions available for the July start. Um, and so I will be had, you know, I'm waiting on them to email me back for an interview. But he was like, yeah, we would love for you to start. Um, in July if you would like and I was like oh absolutely I would love to start in July because your girl's ready to work I gotta pay these, these bills and these um you know these loans off so yeah that's that's one thing I can say that I am glad that I waited until I got my um so I got my um license to start applying because a lot of places are pulling me first because I'm already licensed um and one one uh particular residency that I do have an interview with they let me know they're like yeah, we pulled you because you're already licensed and we don't have to wait for you to take your license and then we give you the job. Because, you know, a lot of times when you get these jobs, these residencies, they're based off of you're going to pass your NCLEX. So they were like, a lot of the times we um, give people the jobs, but they can't start because they don't pass their NCLEX. So then we're out. We have to look for someone else. So with you, it's easier because you're licensed and you can start. We don't have to wait. So a lot of them have been calling me for that. By no by no means am I telling y'all to wait to find a job until you pass your NCLEX. I'm just telling you if you're like me in my situation to where you have not secured a job before your NCLEX, don't feel hopeless. They There are jobs out there that will, you know, love to have you. But, um, yeah. So that was a little thing I have. So I do have a job interview this Thursday um, at 9.45 a.m., which I'm looking forward to because that is in the labor and delivery department, which, God, I hope I do it do good in it but I am nervous because um it's gonna be two to four other it's gonna be two to four people and they're interviewing me and it is a zoom um interview I don't know if y'all noticed but a lot of these interviews are zoom or computer online so I'm happy about that but I kind of want to be in person a little bit but yeah I'll keep y'all going with I'll keep y'all along for that journey and ooh, excuse me I am excited um Thank y'all for being supportive. Oh, before I go, because I have one more thing and I'm done. Before I go, I just need to tell y'all about this other trick. Now, 
um you know the pvt trick right that tells you that you can um pass your exam now somebody else told me another trick that i didn't even think about and it's actually i mean it's, it's a good trick or whatever so um you have the pvt trick but also and i just discovered this it's true it's, it's, y'all i'm getting so tongue-tied i just discovered that it is true you can also find out if you pass a course like if you wait a day day or two i don't know for everywhere but i know here in texas where i'm at my license when i pass literally posted the next day uh my current license my registered nurse license posted on the texas bun website the next day so um if y'all don't want to don't pay that seven dollars i never paid it i didn't pay it this time to tell me that i passed because there was three other ways that i could figure out that i passed which was the pvt trick uh my license being posted the next day and if it's not the next day it'll be two days later either way it go your license will post if you've passed and the third trick which i just thought was wow why didn't nobody ever think of this was um if you go to your texas your i guess your nursing bond like ours is texas bond where you fill out the application to take the test not pearson but like where you fill out your application and stuff to and i think you do it in school or something i don't know but ours is texas bun if you go to texas bun and you like go into your account or whatever to look at your application and you go to view status in the um view status it has like a checkoff list of like things you have to do like pay for your thing and all like it's a basically a checkoff list and then on the list is nclex if you pass nclex it will have a check mark by the checkoff part where it says nclex now i've went and made sure that it was true the last two times that i've tested both of mine had an x by my nclex because i failed my nclex but this third time when i passed nclex i went under there and basically my to-do list was cleared off now if you notice um, if you go in there on your view status on your to-do list, usually if you have not taken NCLEX or if you have not passed NCLEX, literally the only thing that's on your to-do list is going to be your NCLEX. So when you pass the NCLEX, it literally checks off and it goes to complete. So that's how you know you passed. So yeah, I was like, oh wow, that's a, I'm, I don't know why people don't, um, I don't know why anyone hasn't really, you know, said anything about that. Everyone's stuck on the PP pdt trick and honestly when i saw that i passed on there it took a while for me to believe it like it took me until they posted my license for me to believe that i actually passed because again i did i was not paying the seven dollars for the quick results that was not necessary when there was other ways to figure it out and then when somebody on facebook said something about this trick i went ahead and did it and sure enough your girl was passed so yes y'all that is my story on me passing third time was the charm i'm excited i'm so happy it's finally over um thank y'all let me just say that thank y'all because again y'all kept me motivated y'all kept me just wanting to do this and i i just appreciate y'all for being here and supporting me and giving me those encouraging words and just making me feel good and being there at basically every step of this journey like it was a long hard journey but y'all stuck it out with your girl and it paid off so let me i'm just gonna say this if i can do it if i can do it y'all can definitely do it so don't give up keep studying and keep trying and we're all gonna be nurses together so yes guys thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video don't forget to comment y'all talk to your girl i love talking to y'all i love having conversations so don't forget to comment like and subscribe and if you don't mind hit the notification bell so y'all can be notified of when i upload videos um i will try to upload y'all I, mean, I will try to get more videos out along with the interview process and of course now that i am a nurse we are going to be doing a lot of videos of come to work well i don't know about come to work with me but get ready with me and you know a lot of different nurse things so yes guys this is so exciting and i don't know if y'all can notice but i just have to say your girl lost 30 pounds so hey <laughs> anyway guys thank y'all so much for tuning in i appreciate y'all and until the next time i'll see y'all later Bye.